Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zorpol. It's been quite a while, but I'm happy to be back with another Counter-Strike Global Offensive Weapon Guide, this time for the MAC-10. Okay, so before we start, here's some basic information about the MAC-10. It is exclusive to the terrorist side, and it's actually the cheapest SMG that you can buy in the game. Uh, it has a fire rate of 800 rounds per minute, and uh, that means that the amount of time they will take to drain the magazine is uh, just over 2 seconds. The reload time in the gun is 2.6 seconds, which actually means, similarly to the MP9, that you're actually going to be spending more time reloading the gun than firing it. You can find the MAC-10 under the submachine guns column of the buy menu with a very generous price tag of $1,050, of course exclusive to the T side, and similarly to other SMGs it shares a kill reward of $600. As for damage on unarmoured opponents, the MAC-10 does 114 damage to the head, 28 damage to the chest and the arms, 35 damage to the stomach, and 21 to the legs. On armoured opponents however, it does 65 damage to the head. 16 damage to the chest and arms, 20 damage to the stomach, and still 21 on the legs. Now, let's talk about the spray pattern. All weapons in Counter-Strike have one, and the MAC-10 is no exception. Uh, the MAC-10 follows a pretty simple spray pattern. It goes all the way up to the left before turning right, and then circling back in on itself, back to the left. Let's see that again. You can see, back to the left. Now, if you pay attention, you can actually see that there's a little uh, there's a little curve as it circles back in on itself. It sort of centers on a particular central point. Now, balancing that out, you can actually pull down. Uh, if you pull back down uh, over and then back off to the left, you can actually get a pretty good spray pattern control. Now we're going to be moving on to the advantages of the MAC-10. As I mentioned before, the first advantage is that it's very, very money efficient. With only a price tag of $1,050, you actually get a $600 kill reward with it. Another advantage to the MAC-10 is that it's actually got a really high movement speed. Next to me is uh, my friend running with a knife out, and this is me running with a MAC-10. As you can see, I'm pretty much almost as fast as him. And the final advantage to the MAC-10 that I'm going to be talking about is it's very, very short barrel, which means that you can actually play in a lot of places that you might not be able to play in with most other guns. Now, two disadvantages on the MAC-10 is that it's got a really small magazine size and a really long reload rate. So be careful of those two things whenever you engage an enemy. Another huge disadvantage you have to be aware of with the MAC-10 is that it's poor first shot accuracy. You've got to keep that in mind whenever you want to take any long range engagements. Here I am just firing at a wall down Italy. Look at that. That is absolutely tragic. Get it off. Another issue you'll find with the MAC-10 is it's poor armour penetration, so do keep that in mind whenever you know that the enemy team is on a 4 by. Not only is the MAC-10 awful against enemies with armour, it's also awful at long range. Do keep that in mind because its damage drop-off is massive, meaning they can take even up to half a mag to kill an enemy. So, with those disadvantages out of the way, where is the MAC-10 actually used? Well, one of the best ways to use the MAC-10 is an anti-eco situation, where you know that the enemy team is only going to be on pistols without any armour. As you can see here, it shreds through enemies and gives you a load of, whole load of money in return. Another situation where you use the MAC-10 is in force buy situations. Now, this basically means that you bought armour and you're spending most of your money to try and kill a full buying team. What's really important here is to try and rush your enemies and take them by surprise. So here I'm smoking off mid and trying to get an AWPA who's watching the... Uh, area. Remember to try not to take your opponents up too close, otherwise they will have the advantage. So, having said all that, how can we put all of that together and actually learn how to use the MAC-10? Well, one of the first things that we just saw here was to run and gun due to its high speed and run and gun capability. Another thing that we can see here is its use in close quarter situations, where due to its short barrel, you can take the enemy by surprise. Also, don't be afraid to jump with the MAC-10. It makes sure that enemies can't hit you just as easily, which is really good against a full buying team. The final way of using the MAC-10 is to remember to dip every so often in battle, especially after an engagement, giving you time to reload because you don't want to run out of ammo when you're in another fight. So, that's all there is to know. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Uh, a special shout out to Shaduka Gaming for helping me out with this video. If you have any other tips, make sure to post them down in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.